What's up? Welcome to the basement of the Jays. I'm going to show you around and show you what I've been doing for the last 30 years with my kitchen that started in 1985 with these right here, these Chicago ones that came out in 85 for $65 was the retail price back then. And that's what started my passion for sneakers, memorabilia, um, even this uh, Jordan phone that I used to have hooked up when I had home phone service years ago. And you could uh, push a button on there and it would give you the audio of the Bulls announcer when he was announcing MJ and it would actually open up. And the crowd would be moving back and forth, so forth and so on. It goes on for a few minutes. And while we're here, we'll start with the last shot 14s in the glass case. I have two pair of these. This pair I'll never wear. It's just because it's his last shot with the Bulls for championship number six. And some of the older um, tens with the jump man facing to the left, which I get a lot of people saying that those are fake because of that. The toe cap tens, which I never took back. Uh, they did a recall on those because Mike didn't like the stitching across the toe cap. And then the twelves down at the bottom with what I call the flu game originals in the middle. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, um, but you have to have an original to have a retro. So we'll start down here. A lot of people don't know about the flight suits. And I see Drake is trying to bring them back out, but these have been out for people that don't know. I've had them. This actual actually goes with the suede 21s then we have the the blue one here it goes with a pair of jordan boots or whatever you wear them with the with the cool grays if you want you know you could you could mix it up and wear it pretty much with whatever shoe you want as long as the colors match up and then you have the black with the silver. This is more of a winter one. I used to use, wear this when I was shoveling the snow. Keep you nice and warm in this. So. Then the last one is one that I created on my own with my old police raid uniform. From when I was on the force, I just took some logos off of stuff that was too small or got old and I just decided to make my own little flight suit and there's jackets clothes the vests this is a jacket I saw the bomber jacket I first saw Eddie Jones wearing in one of the magazines I'll show you in a little bit Then some of the varsity jackets here. And this is a, a leather that uh, Dr. Dre wore in one of Eminem's videos. You forgot about Dre. Uh, just a little bit of everything, you know, that I'm, I'm into clothes wise, as well as the shoes. And over here are some shoes that people really dismiss a lot are the fusions you know I I like all styles of Jordans all models and even the fusion so I have a whole line of those and we go up and start working our way back to some of the retros with the Roy Jones Jr. boxing shoes these are the Air Jordan trainers these were the first trainers to come out 
These were the ones that Roy Jones Jr. used to train in. And actually, wrestlers used to wrestle in these shoes. And I get a lot of people that want to cop these off of me at shows when I show them. And you have some shoes that actually look like the numbered shoes that came out. These are from 2009. These kind of remind you of the, of the 12s. And these are called the Jordan Pro Lows. And as you, you look around, you're just starting to see some of the older shoes, the Camp 23s here with the big jump man on the outside kind of remind you of what I'm wearing now, the 29. You know, this seems like the cycle kind of repeats itself, but it's a little different. Um, just a bunch of different models of J's, the Dub Zeros, for instance, with the 2005 box, the 20 year anniversary box. This is one of my favorites of the Dub Zeros with the lasering. And I see that they're coming back out with more Dub Zeros now. But this is one of the first batches of the Dub Zeros to come out. And then, you know, the Jeter cleats. I do the cleats, you know, um, for the sneaker shows and just part of the collection. Uh, the Yankees. Casual shoes like these. A lot of people dismiss these. Also a look of the 12s. Those are the Air Jordan 12 Selects. And also the 2-3 Harmony. Which is a casual dress shoe. Slide on. Also, these also came with dust covers, the bags to, to put your shoes in. I still had the dust covers as well. And over here is the mellow section. Chris Paul over here. Um, your six rings. A pair of my favorites here. The Hall of Fames. That patent leather. A lot of these shoes people don't don't get into. The youngsters in the sneaker culture now are just all about the hype shoes and reselling shoes and not really about the passion and the love of the shoes. And these are some original team shoes right here. And I'll show you the retro in one second. These are the originals that you would see. Ron Harper, um, Tony Kukoc, just to name a few wearing them on the Bulls. And they did a retro of that shoe. And it's right here. Definitely not the same quality wise, which is to be expected. And they changed it around a little bit. It's not the same as the original that came out. And I buy some of the retros to show the comparison and videos that I do on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, Jumpman Bostic. And these are some of the Vin Baker PEs when he was with the Seattle Supersonics. The Team J. This is the PE section in here and a lot of the older shoes, the Jumpman Pros and the Jumpman Pro Quicks are in this section here. The For the Love of the Games. Um, down here are the uh, Spiz Ikes and then you get into your classic 87s. These are some shoes that people uh, don't generally get into. Nice, casual, comfortable Jordan that uh, I like to walk around in because it's real comfortable. And then we went to, to here and back over here is 
I, I like to display shoes. I just picked this up yesterday, actually, a sneaker con. So I haven't put anything in there yet. But it's my children's shoes. When they, I bought their shoes before they were born, you know, just uh, to match mine. Uh, um, they're not really into sneaker collecting or, or rocking Jordans right now, so I'm not going to force them into what I do. But this is an area here where I just change the display up. This is um, the display for this week. I kind of change it whenever I get the feeling to. Up here is the Ray Allen section when he was with Milwaukee, the Sonics, Boston, and then Miami. This is a um, shoe that was created, a custom shoe that was made by a local customizer named Illionaire from here in Detroit. And these are some that I have on display down here, some other customs. And I just keep those in cases. Those pretty much make it to shows with me a lot. A lot of people identify with the 11 lows there, which are some classic colors that I know people will wish that would come back. I know that the Laney 14s are coming back really soon before the Christmas season. These, this is the, the pack section right here starting with the the dmp right here was the first ever pack to come out with the 11s and the sixes and then you just go down through the what was called the countdown pack each pack equaled the number 23 mj's number of course one of his three numbers many people don't know it was three numbers it was number 12 45 and 23 and then up here shows the OGs of the 11th, which the jump man was going to towards the front of the shoe on the OGs. And I get a lot of people saying that these are fake because they're newbies to the game and only know of the jump man on the left shoe only facing to the back. That's the only shoe that changed its direction was on the left shoe. And then you have your retros. These are not OGs. These are retros. But people want to call them OGs because they have Nike Air on the back. They're still retros. The OG is the actual OG. And a lot of people want to call these the Raptors. This shoe was out in 92 before the Raptors entered the NBA. So it cannot be the Raptors. It's the Charcoal 7. Then you get into some of your international shoes right here. And right there, the K54 ones and K54 nines. Then you have your Dornbacher 10 and your Dornbacher 2 that were made by children of Dornbacher Hospital that had life-threatening illnesses. And Nike and Jordan brand allowed them to create shoes um, to have released, which I think is excellent. But people go crazy with these shoes with the resale prices, and it's just ridiculous. And one uh, example is the uh, DB5 is just, in my size, it's around 18, 19, almost $2,000 for that shoe. Then you have your PE of the Ray Allen 20 when he was with the Supersonics. This was a box I had made here for the Band 1. And you can open it here. And then it has the, the X there. And it actually slides out. I thought this would be one that I would be able to carry to shows, but it's still kind of kind of heavy. So I'm looking for to have a smaller one made that I can be able to carry and use as as a prop for some of my display. Then we start along with the numbered section of the shoes, which starts with the ones down here. Then they go up top over here on these two racks. And then we come back over here on this smaller rack and start with your twos. Mixed in with some of this memorabilia, these cards that came out years ago and I never cracked the seal on them and you get your chance to get 
some NBA final shots. And this is from Upper Deck. I never opened those. Maybe one day I will. Then I was blessed to get some shoes from, from Champs. They know that I'm strictly Jordans, but they sent me a pair of these, the Air Max. I tried them on, I liked them. So this is one of two pairs that I have that are not Jordans in the basement of the Jays. And the other one I got from Kicklahoma, which is right there, which is a KD. They put uh, my logo on there, they customized it, and all the uh, members of the sneaker group signed it, um, Kicklahoma. Be going back there on October the 18th to meet the perfect pair, so I'm looking forward to that. So big shout out to um, Champ Sports. Oh, and before I forget, over here, kind of hidden but never forgotten, is the two releases of the championship hat packs that came from Champs. They gifted both of those to me, and I thought that that was really cool. And I was one of the only ones to get the champagne and the and the cigar in the first pack that released. So that, that was a real true blessing because they know that I'm a true Bulls fan from back in the day. Probably one of the only ones living in Detroit back then that was a Bulls fan. So we go over here before we get back to the shoes with some of the memorabilia. I'm big on the memorabilia too with the Wheaties boxes and uh, the best team ever, 72 and 10, which is rumored to be the sneaker that's coming out this Christmas season. One of the original Gatorade bottles, the glass bottle. Wouldn't recommend drinking that though. And then uh, one of the second generation Gatorade bottles is starting to cave in a little bit, but and then you have the one that came out recently, the one through six. More Wheaties boxes. Of course, my favorite sneaker cleaner and the only one I use, the Rejuvenator. And I ended up getting some of these replica rings, which some people seem to think are real. The cologne that came out back in the day. I still have one that I never cracked the seal on. The deodorant, the Jordan stamp, and then the gold cards that are in that uh, case there that tells you a little bit about the history of some of the shots that he made and things like that. Um, some of the Soul Collector magazines in here, the videos out that were out on MJ, the Ultimate Collection, Come Fly With Me, all the videos that, that came out in there, some of the, the books. And then there's the, the videos down there, Airtime, uh, Rare Air, Airborne, one of my favorite books to read there. Then some of the, the dolls and figurines here. He's wearing the OG flu games right there. I know a lot of people will call them the bread 12s, but I, I can't get into that. I call them the, the black and red or the playoff. And that's the Hot Wheels toys that came out back in the day. And my kids used to really try to get at those when they were younger. Then some of the basketballs. This is for the leather 22s. It has a 22 on it. And then this one is for the 21 right here. Then you have your other two down at the bottom. So I collect a little bit. Of, of everything. And now we're going to some of the Space Jam stuff here. And then one more up top in the uniform. And now we'll pick back up. We've got to the twos here. Now we're at the threes right here. 
threes and fours. Then we drop down to the fives. And I put numbers on the boxes. And that's when I bought them. That's the current number I was at when I bought the shoes. Also put pictures on the boxes, which was my wife's idea, because one day she was upset. I was down here looking for a shoe, and I was taking too long. She said, why don't you just put pictures on the boxes? That makes it easy. So I can just go to it and boom, and get my shoes. So fives, sixes. These just released recently. The low sixes, the chromes. So this is the earlier release of it. I have the newer release coming. I was at a show yesterday, uh, yesterday when they released, and I had a friend down in Kansas City look out for me. So sevens, and my favorite of all time are the eights. And then we start back up here with the nines. And the tens, and then we hit the elevens, the OGs and the retros, and then you know the gammas right there, and the original eleven low. Yes, MJ played in the eleven lows in games, and you you know the originals from the retro with the red checkerboard there. Then we hop up here to more 11s up here. And then down to your 11, more 11s and 12s. And I gotta slide the rack back. And then we're here, uh, down, oh, I'm sorry, down here with the 13s, down here. And you know the OG boxes, the gray boxes with the red jump man. Your 14s. The gingers. The OG 14s, last shots. And put those back where they belong. The Ben, the Premio 13s, the Ben 13s. And then more 14s. A lot of people really not into anything past 13. Then more up top with the 14s and then the the 15s, and I also put the mocks in with these, which are based off of the 15s. It's just a casual shoe. Remember, I used to put this shoe on after I played to wear home, much like the 7s. This is built, this is based off of the Jordan 7. That's the bottom. This was from the 2 3 line that used to be out. And more 15s, the Retro 15 SEs. This is the Pistons colorway. It has lasering mixed in down with the patent leather, which I thought was really dope. Kind of changes colors a little bit with the light. It's kind of a, a pearl or a cream color when the light hits it. This one is give you like a 3M effect on it with your herringbone look. Silver tip laces. Then your 16s. The gingers. A shoe I know a lot of people would love to see come back. 
actual, he played uh, with the Wizards wearing those. And then also with these right here, the 17s with the suitcases and the coppers are another. This shoe sat at the Nike outlets, I remember. This is where I got mine at the Nike outlet. Receipt still in the box. There. Oh, 17, then you go down to your 18s, 19s, and 20s. And then your 21s, 21 lows down here, and your 22s, the basketball, 22s with the leather. Your 23 lows, super comfortable shoe. Uh, then your 23s here, the Finales, which is a rare uh, Jordan 23. And then you start getting into your 2009, 2010 shoes right here. So that's it for the numbers in this section. We pick them up at the next rack over here. So it's a lot of maneuvering sometimes to get to what you want. Then there's some futures I have in here, the 2011s. Also mixed in with the boots. And then your 28s right here, and I have 29s on my feet. And then we have the boots back here in the back. A lot of people didn't even know that uh, Jordan Brand had the boots. Then down below are more of the the team shoes, the, the Comfort Air Maxes, the shoes that were kind of made to look like Air Maxes and things like that. So uh, I'm into a mixture of different shoes. And there's the last rack right here, which is the 9.5 Teams and the Jordan T4Gs. These are shoes that are made for um, cross training and performance then your Jordan Olympias which are are made uh, for basketball these are your casual shoes the Jordan V2 groans and your Jordan fly legends down here I you know I kind of went crazy with those I, it's a dope shoe to me a bunch of different colorways I'll show you one that a lot of people kind of like you they love this cement print Pretty dope. Down here are some of my my posters. Some of them I even had laminated. The ones I I put on on my wall back in the day with the Taxi Twelves. I thought that was a really dope poster right there. Some of the original posters with the, with the swoosh on it and the Nike on it. And here we have the Space Jam poster. Then when he left and went to to play baseball, even before he had his own custom nines, that's what he was wearing. One of the dopest posters out, the victory poster, with the quote of victory on there. The original. Nike version of the dunk from the free throw line with his with threes on, and you see the Nike up there. I've seen a bunch of remakes of this poster. This is one of the originals, though. And then the ten scoring titles. Of course, this is you know what that famous shot is the last shot right there. 
So that's a look at some of the memorabilia, a look around the basement. This is what I do. This is what I've been doing for the last 30 years and I don't see myself slowing down or stopping or anything like that. There's still shoes out there that I'm looking to either cop or that I, I lost or had to give away for various reasons or lost in a divorce, but uh, there's still shoes I'm out here looking for. And I still had the love and the passion to do sneaker shows and travel and just show my love for sneaks. This is the other shoe that was done by Illionaire to show tribute to Ray Allen's second championship when he was with the Miami Heat, one of my favorite players, especially since MJ, when MJ retired, I really didn't, really wasn't into basketball after he retired. And then with Ray, I became, this is a copper piece that was done by 3JTs back in the day on copper of my favorite, the eights. So big shout out to him, a really good friend from back in the day. Team shoe, Eddie Jones, when he was with the Miami Heat. A lot of people remember these shoes because these were some of the best Team Jordans that were made back in the day. You can follow me at Jumpman Bostic on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, my YouTube page is, is Jumpman Bostic. Also, Original Roughneck is the brand that I go with. I'm signed to, to them to promote rock and be a part of their, their family and use the basement of the Jays when you post your shoes or anything, wearing anything with Roughneck on it, or are you trying to um, get a hold of me, just go ahead and tag Basement of the Jays or Basement of the Jordans. Use promo code JumpmanBostic to save 20% off anything you order from Original Roughneck. Also, here are some of my favorite great eights in my collection. Before we leave, i got to leave you with a couple things that people may not have seen before. The messenger bags, laptop bags. That's for the three. We also have the 11, which they call the Legend Blue. And also the black and red or the playoff. I have the six as well, the six low bag. That's upstairs. I use that one for work mainly, but I do have that one as well. I appreciate everybody stopping through, checking this video out. If you want to hit me up, you have my social media. I appreciate all of the support that I have for the Basement of the Jays. Everyone booking the Basement of the Jays to come to their events is truly appreciated.